Hi, it's Joe from WHR Marketing, and today I'm going to show you how to use Surfer SEO and Jarvis AI to rank your content on page one of Google. So if you don't know about Surfer and Jarvis, then check out my previous uh, YouTube videos on Surfer and Jarvis. So, um, the combination is just outrageous. Okay, so what is off-page SEO is the topic I'm going to focus on making uh, content on. So what I've done on, um, on Surfer SEO, again, just look at the previous video if you want to know how to do this. I've pulled out um, optimized headings, um, H2 tags and questions over here. Okay, so when I go to Jarvis now, again, I'm gonna copy and paste this into Jarvis. So this is from Surfer, okay? And it says my content is 50% optimized so far. I haven't written anything apart from that first paragraph there. So the rest are literally just the H2 tags, okay? Um, on Jarvis, you need to make sure you get um, boss mode. Uh, with Jarvis. If you don't have boss mode you won't be able to do this. Uh, I've got a link in the description with 50% off boss mode um, and what we're going to focus on is long form assistance. So click there, click start from scratch and then when you've got Surfer SEO you can use this mode called SEO mode here. It's really easy to link your Surfer account to, um, to Jarvis and this is just pulling up the data what I've got here from Surface. So if I click here, okay, now my content on the right side is Jarvis, okay. It's gonna, um, when I type this in, it's now on the left side, it's coming up with all my um, Surface stats over there. Okay, so I can see my content is 49% optimized already for the keyword what is off page SEO. Okay, so I'm gonna scroll down to my headings. And the, like I said, these are all the headings I've pulled out of um, Surfer SEO. And I'm gonna add content um, into Jarvis, okay? So we need more headings, more words, more paragraphs and images, which I'll do in WordPress. Okay, and again, we'll do another test. So we'll add this content um, to my WordPress page. Um, without even editing it and just see if it ranks in a few months time so it'll be a good test so I'll leave that once I've um, uploaded it I'll leave the link of this article that we'll create uh, based on what is off page SEO in the description so you can check it out in a few months to see if it starts to rank up here you've got the built-in plagiarism, plagiarism detector so you can you can be assured your content will be plagiarism free so let's start adding to different parts of our um, content using Jarvis. So preparing a site page for link building. So let's see what content it picks up here. So Jarvis, so preparing a site for link building. This is one of the most important parts of off-page SEO. If this step fails, links will not bring the expected benefits. The first thing to do is create good content with relevant keywords. When people come across your content, they'll be inclined to link your post. So, so far, it's all on the right track here. So we'll just keep forming it. Again, it's now coming up with its own suggestions. So finding link opportunities. Okay, so we've got some more more ideas here. So I'm just going to let it run. Once it's right, if it's writing the um, correct content, then just let it run. Keep letting it run. Try to include the following operator in a search plus keyword add link. Yep, so far that's all good. Again, you can see our on the left side, you can see our optimization score going up on surface, and so now we're at 55. So we're picking up lots of useful information on this if you're reading through. So far, I won't read it all out, but again, as you know, it's completely 100% uh, plagiarism free. So you can edit this yourself. There's a lot on this step. I'll move on to content marketing in a minute so you can see, it. but it's, it's coming up with link mapping. It's, again, we can put that as a H3.
again we can add some we've got lots of h3s here we've got blog blog comments and it's just going to keep going up we're on a thousand words already the paragraphs is easy to do at the end to optimize okay that's literally just adding the space look for example if i go here you can see now we've got 23 instead of 22 so it's just breaking up the text to make it more user friendly so once we get that to 207 which is pretty easy okay that's going to optimize further we'll just go under content marketing now to see what it brings up with regards to um, what is off page seo again it looks on point so far so this is a powerful way to get people to link to your website all you have to do is write articles that are well researched, informative, and submit it to the content sharing site such as, such as Inbound or Scoop. Yep. So far, again, I don't need that part. We'll just do that. Now it's coming up with infographics. So again, it's it's expanded on that. So content marketing, the first part of it is all on point. It's basically talking about creating. Um, valuable piece of information to post on other people's uh, sites uh, to get a link back to yours same with infographics now we've got press releases coming up again I'm really impressed so far it's all on point sometimes obviously with an AI generated program it can go off point which is fine you can just delete that and then you can start writing some of the words to go in front okay to to start helping it understand the the direction you want to go okay and i'll go back to this in a minute but we'll you can you can just see it popping out content after content i'll go down just to go to something completely different let's see what it comes up with for local seo gmb and citations So I might have to guide it this time. So using local SEO. To boost your website can capture more value. Right, I could continue to get the optimization into the green zone, but I'm not going to bore you. So you can basically see what Jarvis boss mode does. Okay, and using it with Surfer, the combination is insane. So if you look down here on Surfer, we've got all those words we can add in, okay, to optimize for um, for the key keyword phrase, what is off page SEO. So that's what I'd continue doing. Okay. Um, and over this side, like I said, you can see we've got already, I don't know how long I've been writing this for, but 1,300 words without me putting any input in myself. Okay, so when I check through that, I would edit it myself, add some internal links, um, external links, some YouTube videos um, that are helpful on the topic, um, and optimize my H1, H2s, and so forth. Okay, so surfer seo and jarvis combined i've literally heard um tons of people getting over ten thousand monthly visitors simply by using jarvis or jarvis in combination with surfer seo so i suggest you try it out because they don't have any contracts so just try it out for a month okay see how much content you can you can get on your site okay um, I've got a link in the description below for both Surfer SEO and Jarvis AI with 50% off codes. So click the link, um, enjoy. I'm going to put, I'm going to finish off this article, and I'm actually going to put this article on my website, and I'll leave a link in the description again. And we'll see in a few months' time does it rank without any of my input. Okay, so I've done one for Surfer, um, one for um, Surfer and Jarvis combined. Okay. If you prefer reading um, rather than watching these videos, then visit our blog, okay, where we've got tons of useful information, for example, on Amazon FBA, drop shipping tools, SEO services and SEO tools, web hosting, and so on. Starting a blog, it's all up to you, it's all there for you.
I'm Joe from WHR Marketing. See you next time. Thank you.